We're currently going through a series called Defining Manhood that's designed to provide biblical direction for men who are living in a world that has distorted what entering manhood means. If you haven't listened to the message yet, you can find it on Mech's website, mechleberg.org, or YouTube channel, or the Mech app. This week, we looked at three primary roles the Bible teaches that define what it means to be a man, being a provider, a protector, and a cherisher of women and children. For the women who have been listening to this series, like myself, I hope that it has served to show the type of men that you want to have in your life. But more than anything, I hope it brings you closer to God, who is the ultimate provider, protector, and cherisher. Let's take another look at the verses we've been reading this week from the Apostle Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ has loved the church. He gave up his life for her. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church. Notice how Paul repeats the phrase, just as Christ, twice here. Just as Christ surely loves you, so should the men in your life. I would encourage you to spend some time praying for the men in your life, whether they are brothers, fathers, husbands, or sons. Pray for them to be the men God has called them to be. For those of you who are mothers, pray that God would help you raise sons who would love, protect, and cherish the women in their lives. I know those will be my prayers for this week and the rest of my weeks. I really hope that this series has given men a very clear picture of what it means to be a man and women a clear picture of the type of men we want for our children or our future children.